Good morning everybody. As you can see, snow is gone. We've had a couple really nice snow and winter days. And um, has warmed up. Warm weather has drawn in. Today it's just gonna be a normal low season day. Gonna do a bunch of different stuff. And uh, gonna start with planing some wood in the workshop, so. So whenever we plane wood in our workshop, we produce wood shavings, which are very, very important for us. Um, the big chickens, they can obviously walk on a little rougher material, like wood chips. For the, for the chicks, the new hatch chicks, we really only want to use wood shavings. Um, it's this light, light and fluffy material that the chicks are able to kick around easily. This, my friends, here is insulation material for my dad's wood kiln. Uh, my dad has had some health issue this summer, so we weren't able to continue on it. But now we purchased the stuff, and hopefully soon we'll be able to continue the wood kiln. Yummy carrot from our garden. You guys know how cold we've had it. We've had it up to negative 9 Celsius already in November now. Snow. I was frozen and um, now it's really warm again but these carrots are doing just fine out in the garden still um, as are leeks and parsley 
And the reason for that is that with permaculture method, the ground slowly builds a organic matter protection over the soil and insulates the ground. And these carrots, they lose a lot of sugar to pr protect themselves from the frost, so they get very sweet. Elliot Coleman, I think, is very known for producing a winter harvest, and his carrots are just the sweetest all around. He said in one video that the kids at school trade the carrots, they want the carrots, they trade it for, like, processed candy crap. So I'm wanting to check on the cows, how they are doing. They've been eating much more and much faster than I thought, so I thought we could check on their pasture real quick, see how much is left. Mm, I can see them already there. See them laying there? This is their favorite spot right there. Hey guys. How are you doing? Let me sit you down. Wow. They have eaten down this hay field a ton. They have definitely some food left, but look at this. this. Very nicely and very evenly eaten down. And they're content still, they have feet still. Hi guys, huh? You enjoying being outside this time of year? So according to the law, they need to have access to um, a protected area, basically roof and three walls. They have they have that, but they have never ever been in there. Even with all this rain and snow and all of that, they were never in there. They only go in there in the summertime to find shade, and that's when they're not required by law to go in there. They just love it out here. Look at them. Here we have the bull. He's still with us. And they're all there eating nicely. When you observe the cows like this, you can just really understand why we move them in the afternoon when we do the controlled mob grazing. And that's because they eat the most during those hours and then they rest um, this time of day. So if they have free access, you can just observe that, that that's how it is. Ah, oh, what a beautiful morning. Beautiful, beautiful field. I wonder how many calves we're gonna get. If Sally is really gonna be with calves. Somebody asked again in the Q&A yesterday um, if Sally's still there, and she is. She's right there. That's her. Look at Sally. But uh, the, the thing is that we don't know if she's gonna be with calf. Hopefully we'll have four, um, otherwise we'll just have three. So here, this is Lisa. She's gonna have her first calf ever. This is Lizzie or Elizabeth. She's gonna have her first calf ever. Sally has never had a calf either before. She just was an accident, she was not supposed to be. And the old, former owners just kept her. And then you have obviously our old experienced cow, her name is Bella, the mom of Biffen. She's had eight or nine calves. And Highland cattle, they can have, um, you know, 16, 17 calves easily because they can be um, 20 years old and still have a healthy calf. So that's just amazing about this breed. What are you guys up to? Look at the bull. He's kind of standing there as if he was going to charge towards me any second. <laughs> when I went to farming school, I really wasn't into cows that much. I was much more into sheep and worked a lot with sheep. But I've really started to love cows more. Um, I guess what turned me off when I went to farming school with cows was these modern cow breeds and these modern milk cows that I wasn't so excited about. 
um, and, and, and just the industrial kind of agriculture. I'm much more excited about this natural kind of farming. I, I love the old Swedish mountain cow, Fjällku. We've had a couple of those. Um, they are the hardiest uh, milk cow breed around here. They produce uh, kind of the same milk as Jersey cows, I would say. Very, very creamy. And they're just beautiful cows as well. They have no horns. But I've really started to love um, cattle. It's it's really, really nice. And I would love to have much more cattle. Uh, to me, in the winter time, um, you know, in these long, dark Swedish winters, it's easy to get depressed and, and kind of really, ooh. But what helps me is just to go outside to the animals and the life that still continues on the homestead and spend some time with them. So today's Thanksgiving, guys. I'm very thankful, very thankful for my family. We've had a difficult year with sickness and stuff, but we're getting out of it. Um, very thankful for my extended family, parents and siblings and all of that. Very thankful for um, the animals, very thankful for the YouTube channel, thankful for the support that you guys give, but most of all I'm thankful um, to God for taking care of us and protecting us and being there for us and giving us a purpose in life and just filled with thankfulness even though life is not easy all the time and this year was definitely different than what we would have hoped for or expected but I'm just very thankful. I hope you guys who um, celebrate Thanksgiving can really take this time to uh, be with family and um, spend time with family, focus on what you're thankful for and um, those of you guys who don't have a family there's a loving Heavenly Father for you. And those of you guys who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, well it's a great time anyway to reflect on life and to be thankful any time of the year. So um, just want to say these words and hope you guys have a good day no matter what. Not sure if there'll be a video tomorrow due to Thanksgiving, but uh, we'll see about that. Sally has calmed down a lot since um, the first videos that we made about her. She was just such a nervous cow. She still keeps her distance and if you look at her there, she still looks very, very suspicious at us uh, whenever we, we do something. But. Um, she has calmed down a lot. There you have Biffen. He's becoming a pretty cow. Look at, isn't this pretty? By the way, I just want to say real quick, every time I mention my faith in a video, um, there's some people who get really upset and some people who, um, <laughs> who threaten with unsubscribing or kind of feel the need to let me know. It was really funny. One time I shared my faith and some a person unsubscribed and I was like, okay, I wonder if the person subscribed to my channel because they thought I was an atheist. That is a rather funny reason to subscribe to a channel. Even if you don't agree with it, which I get, you know, um, it's none of your business what I say or think on my channel and um, if you're somewhat of a um, respectful human being, you will just respect what I have to say. I think those of you guys who have a problem with that and, and who argue about it, you know, well, why would you even argue about it? Why do you even care about it if there's no God and no purpose? Why do you even care about it? And, and especially on my YouTube channel, you know, just leave it alone and uh, let people think for themselves. Don't do the thinking for them. Don't make them stupid. Let them decide for themselves um, if everything came from nothing. <laughs> Respect me for what I say, and if not, yeah, then unsubscribe, you know? Just saying, today's Thanksgiving, I'm thankful towards my God.